Hey, it's Margie with the Ask King Spot, and I got this. So she put a lamp sheet on her head. Garage sale for only five dollars. Isn't it pretty? I just love it. The only problem, I can't use it. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was all excited. I was like, "What a great deal!" And I got home only to realize that my house doesn't have any overhead lights like this. I mean, it's got the little domes on the ceiling fan light things in so many rooms but um this is way too heavy to replace one of those and i would also have to take a chance of trying to drill another hole in it it's and, a fail uh, i've seen youtubers do it but i'm not gonna take that chance the funny thing was is while i was waiting to hear back from my sister to see if she could use it i was had it you know just sitting on the dining room table like this i'm like it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna make a water fountain out of it. So let's try. Seriously? Basic principles of water fountains are you get the pump that I got on Amazon and I got a pretty good deal. The price does fluctuate. I don't know why, um, but I've got a link in my description box if you wanna get the same pump. Um, the reason I got the one I got is because the hose extends a lot further so i didn't know how tall i was going to make this fountain but i knew i would have the ability to do that so that's why i selected that fountain pump otherwise what i need is a container the base to actually hold all the water that's going to get circulated and uh then i'm going to need something to lift up this light i guess technically i wouldn't have to but i just feel like i want that flow to come off and kind of drip around it like an umbrella. It's an umbrella! So that's where this comes in. This pillar. Da -da -da. Yeah, I, we love yogurt and I'm always looking for reuses. So this is gonna be my base. Now, the thing about this base is I don't want to mess with the integrity of this bottom rim. I kind of want to keep that as strong as possible, but obviously water needs to come in. So I'm going to drill a few holes and hopefully that'll give access to the water to come in for the pump to go ahead and push it back up again and yet still allow this to be strong enough to hold the glass on top. Don some safety gloves and some glasses and this is my thought process for how I have this board set up. I want the rim to remain safe so I've got it so it tucks right at the rim but still leaves me some open space for the drill bit to go through. If everything goes to plan this could be genius. Clever girl. Okay I need to make this hole a bit bigger. It's got to fit this part of the pump. So I'm just going to do some excessive drilling in the area. Paint must paint. Paint, paint, paint. So here is the base for this piece. It is really shallow and I'm a little concerned that I'm going to have to refill water quite frequently because of evaporation and you know, the heat here and whatnot but I hope to also have it slightly in the shade with the solar panel just out into the sun so that maybe it won't evaporate as fast. And I also though, the reason I want it shallow is I wanna keep it light. Um, I plan on moving it. I'm sure I won't be happy with where I put it or I'll get tired of it and I'll want it somewhere else. So that's why I went for something shallow so I could keep it light and uh, it works with the effect I'm going for. What do you say, fussy? fussy? I love to add the instructions, but honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory. You've got um, the hose that they've got with it, even though if you didn't want to, it's got 
the extension on the pump, you could do that and be just fine if it's a lower pump, but I'm gonna do this fountain a little higher so the hose works. If this were too loose on this end, like if you got this pump and you say got a fish tank hose to it, um, I believe you can use a heat gun to make it fit tighter, but haven't tried it, not swearing by it. The important thing is, is that this is gonna stick on the base and the water has to cover it. It does have a filter in it, so you wanna change your water though frequently because otherwise you can get gunk and the filter will clog up and it just won't work that well. Uh, after it comes out, this gets extended. I'm gonna run this through my little um, container here that I made. It goes and gets attached to the part that is for the solar panel that's gonna power this. Now the hose part, I wanna make sure, I'm gonna to test to make sure I have this at the right length. This is what goes at the end of it. I could have changed this out and put this on top instead of the simple little holes. And then they have a variety pack of different sprayer nozzles. So, you know, ooh. Fountain of the Bellagio. Not exactly Las Vegas or anything. So I'm gonna pass. I'm just gonna go for a gentle flow over the lovely glass. Let's get to making sure though, everything lines up right. A lot of trial and error with the drive fit. And I do caution, you know, I go ahead and I cut this piece and I think I'm cutting it just perfectly to size, but I haven't forgotten about, or I have forgotten about the amount of space that the glass dome itself would take up. As luck would have it, I had two things in my favor. Um, one, I just happened to cut it right. And two, I had more tubing. So if I had to start that all over again. But here's where the real fiddling around came in. Doing the wet fit. Ugh. I just was having no end of fun with these um, tops. And I am being sarcastic. Uh, they just were too much. And it started, you know, you know you've got too much when it starts spraying outside of the container you hope to catch it in. And then on top of it, it just wasn't the look I was going for. I wanted the gentle babble. So I found the easiest was just the cone by itself. It was the funnel shape that just gave me the simple flow that I wanted. And then I thought, well, this isn't enough. I need to add some rocks. Yeah, should have waited on this um, because of course, I'm just testing it out on a bucket here. It's not where I'm really happy with it. All right, before we look at the final results, if you could please give a thumbs up and uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel and I appreciate it. Um, now the fountain. I think it turned out great. I would say without, you know, minus dry time for the yogurt container spraying that I did, uh, maybe 45 minutes to put this together, probably 30. It didn't take all that long. Um, it's also pretty easy to assemble. The only thing I will caution about this, so is the solar panel, doesn't have a battery pack. It, it's not the, you know, fancy fancy. So it always has to face absolute bright sunshine so i'm not permanently mounting it anywhere in the morning i have it facing east you get the idea yeah facing west in the afternoon and there we go thanks so much for watching the asking spot subscribe button if you haven't already it really helps out the channel and i thank you so 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 much almost to a thousand subscribers